so through my travels around the country, I've come to many, you could say, these sacred power points, these natural vortices. Uh, and we're here at the Flat Irons in Boulder, and I'm standing next to a tree. Um, and one thing I've seen, and you could say these power points, is the trees tend to twist, especially the junipers. However, such as like Sedona and Yosemite, where you'll observe some of these phenomena, uh, and you'll see clockwise and counterclockwise rotation, the thing that's interesting about this tree in all my travels, I've never seen one twist so much, and that the angle is about 45 degrees or even 30 degrees uh, parallel to the ground uh, of this twisting motion, less in the, in, in the branches coming off it, but in the solid core. Because one of the dynamic things is when you look into the core of this, you're seeing a diamagnetic vortice being created as the wood's diamagnetic. And it's interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. And there's a subtle diamagnetic vortice uh, coming up through the Earth that this tree is following the path that's mostly straight up. But as that, but as that force, uh, you could say the potential energy in the system builds, there's greater and greater twisting. And, and so, as you can see within the immediate rings, there's this ring right here, and, and the axis is this way, where just a couple rings later, it's almost, it's almost perpendicular um, in terms of the amount of twisting. And so the more this tree will have grown, the more this curvature will have become parallel with the ground. All right.